so welcome back to another episode of react native building the educational application so if you did not watch uh, my previous co uh, course or previous video for of this particular course then go and watch that first so in this particular section we are covering very important topic called uh, to track the user progress when your user complete the particular section okay and that particular um, data we are storing in our database okay so if uh, i open any of this particular uh, course right uh, if i open this one you'll see that i completed this first particular chapter right and it will and you know with this uh, green tick mark for example if i open this getting started right i completed this section if i click next right i am here i can run this one if i go next you will see this progress bar as well right and if i click finish as soon as i click finish right it will jump back to this uh, course detail page and if you see right this tick mark is get uh, display on the screen as soon as you finish that particular chapter okay so this particular section we are covering so in this particular one right once uh, user click on the finish button right we are sending all the re uh, required information in our database in our stripey so if you go back here right and here i created the course progress um, uh, collection here okay so if i go to course progress you will see the user id i am saving the course id the course content id all these things right type is just a uh, uh, dummy variable but if you see this all the variable um, in core progress i am storing okay and once we store it i am also using the get api in order to fetch that information so all everything um, including this uh, how to fetch it how to display it how to post it everything we will learn in this particular section so now let's implement the uh, course uh, progress right so here first of all uh, in global dot uh, global api dot js right i added these two endpoints one is to set the course progress and this is the endpoint and i'm passing the data information because this is the post request and in order to get the course progress right i am using this uh, endpoint and i'm filtering it with the i'm passing user id and the uh, course id okay so that will get the some result so now let's save this information okay and let's go back to our course uh, chapter page right here if you see right uh, we have finish button uh, uh, on place event right so if you come here right here we have on click next so correct and this is the finish button so if you go back here right uh, if in, in this catch block we added this navigation dot go back right so if you finish it it will go back to the screen correct so over here we will add the uh, our data means we will post the data in a server so first of all i will write the constant data right and inside that i have to write like data like this right and again inside that i have to write the all the field which i need to send it right so in this case the first is uid okay so then uh, next field is the course id and then next field is a course content id okay this one so these three fields we need it first of all we have to take user id right so with the help of authentic authenticating context we can you uh, you can use this uh, user data and from the user data you can get the user id right so it's very easy you have to uh, do like this and then use uh, use the context and the auth context right because in authentication context we have the user data so i will just access that uh, id using user data dot id then we have the course id right so in for this course id uh, we have to fetch it uh, from the uh, we, we are getting this parameter right from that we can fetch it so i will just write par, uh, param is param dot course id okay because we are passing the course id so right now we are not passing but we have to pass it so for example if you go back to the course detail page right here we have the uh, course content and uh, not here actually so if you when we are navigating right so maybe in the course content right here we are navigating right here we have to pass the uh this particular variable called course uh id so here we will pass the course id 
oh actually we are passing the course id here right if you are not passing make sure you pass this course id okay and course id is nothing but course dot id and this course id you have to accept it here right we will give a comma here so you will not get any error and the last is the course content id right so from the course content we are have we are getting this course content right and each course content has its own id so just uh, to access the id you can write like this okay make sure if you are not passing the course id you will pass it in the uh, navigation uh, when you are uh, click on the particular uh, content right and that course id you have to pass it okay that's all and save it now we have the data now you you have you might might have a question why we are passing data right so here so let's go back in strapi post api and if you search that right uh, you will get how what type of all this type of post right so create a new entry and everything right so for example in order to post the data right uh, this is a get entry this is a post request right if you see and this is the example so whatever the field you want to pass you have to pass in the data uh, object right so that's the reason we pass in a data object now let's call the global api dot we have to set the course progress so set the course progress pass this data information then and the response okay now uh, on this response we will go back so we will write the navigation dot go back and save it okay as simple as that now let's try it and make sure uh, we are getting some data so i am here right right now we have only uh, let me check we have so we have uh, three records okay so what we will do i will go to the introduction and uh, let me go back so right now we don't have anything go back introduction run this we don't have anything and finish so we try to push the data let's refresh it and if you see we got the new record 113 right the course content id is 3 and the id is 4 okay and we got this data perfect that is what we want now we are successfully able to uh, set the course okay now let's go back to our con uh, course detail page okay over here we will fetch this uh, particular uh, data okay all this data by using the user id okay so first of all what i will do uh, let's let's just define the uh, new method okay so let's call constant get course progress okay and the arrow function so here we'll define global api dot get course progress and over here you have to pass parameter if you see right user id and course id correct so make sure you will add the uh, you will get this user id from the user context use context the uh, one which we are using that which is the auth context so i will write like this user data comma set user data is equal to use context make sure you input the all the model and then we have the authentication context now we have the user data user data dot id which we needed and the second is the course id right so course id in this case is parameter dot course data dot id okay i will i'm not using the course dot id i can use it but sometimes right uh, when you set this value for this particular course it not immediately reflected right so that's the reason i'm using parameter because parameter has a very initially we are getting this value right so that's the reason i'm using the parameter dot course dot course data dot id then then we have a response okay now we are getting the response so you if you write like console.log response.data because in uh, this is axio so we our response is will be in the response.data right i will write here my response like this okay and save it now if you check here right if you um in the console sometimes console will not work properly but that's fine uh, we will ignore it okay and we will just set the data okay so here 
I will add the new state so called constant uh, user progress comma set user progress oh sorry progress and is equal to use state okay inside this I will set the user progress data so here right uh, first of all I will manipulate the data so I will check response dot data okay or data because uh, I need the actual data and here uh, I will check I will manipulate the data as I say right so I will say constant result is equal to response dot data dot data then I will map it okay like this and I will just copy the existing code okay so I am adding ID the course ID and co course content ID which we are getting from here okay and that's all I need it right and this result I will set like uh, set user progress for a set user progress perfect that's all okay now make sure you will call this one right you have to call this particular one only when we ha you have this course data dot id so you have to write param dot course data dot id if it's available then you can call this function otherwise don't call it and i will pass it as a null okay now once it call it right it will set the value and that value you have to pass to this course content because we have to set this symbol right so what i will do i will write course uh, user progress is equal to user progress okay progress okay and access this particular parameter in course content so if you go to the course content here you have to pass it like this right user progress that's all correct and let's try to print it out here so in use effect i will print the value like this okay. so i have the user progress and let's save everything okay so if you see right uh this is the user progress and we are getting value right we are getting three value for this particular course id and the course uh, sorry particular course id and that particular user only right if you see the uh, the user id is the 111 right now don't ignore because course id is also matters okay and that's what we get it if is it duplicate obviously sometimes it avoid it right so don't worry about that one so we have all the data okay and uh, now what you have to do you have to add one method to verify or to check whether uh, this particular uh, course is completed or not right so in order to add that method uh, you have to go to the uh, in the course content only right you have to check the user progress and here you can check user you can add one method okay and over here you have to just pass the uh id so here you have to pass the course content id right so, means because uh here right uh here only we will add that matter so right now what i will do i will just write the uh content id to check each content right and then i will return true or false depends on the condition for example in this case user progress i in this user progress right because we have the data i will find from the item with the item dot course on and id is equal to equal to uh, content id okay this content id if it's find in this particular user progress it means this user already completed the particular course correct and then we do uh, we will show the check mark so make sure this check user progress you will call somewhere here like this right so um after this index plus one right we will add that condition so right now what we have to do let's add this icon this is a check mark circle icon and i also applied some color and everything and the condition is quite simple right so condition is just you have to check whether the progress uh check user progress you have to call and you have to pass the item id okay and if it is true then show this icon otherwise don't show anything okay 
and if i save it right if you see right we got this icon correct go back come here you see because two of this particular course is completed that's the reason it's showing correct but now we don't want to show this one and two we just want to icon if it's completed right so what you have to do you have to add, uh, cut this text and put it here instead of null right so if the course is not completed then show this text otherwise show the uh, icon if you see it look like this perfect right i hope you understand up until this point now next let's go back let's try to come on this particular page we are getting perfect all oh, everything's ready right now if i try to uh, complete this python syntax go to the next go to the next and finish it right you see the th we completed the third of the uh, chapter but it's not showing it right but if you come back and go to this basic course it will show it now this is the glitch you can say right because even though you finish first time you will not get showing in first time but you come back and come to this course again then it will show so in order to resolve that issue right go to the course chapter and if you remember right uh we added this navigation dot go back correct so what we will do we will little bit modify it so i will remove this particular one and just add the navigate so okay so we actually navigate it instead of go uh, uh calling the go back function from the navigation right so we'll navigate it so name uh, navigation of the name of how the navigation is the course details okay or oh, sorry course details and then we have to pass some parameters here right in order to trigger the use effect from the course detail page so i will pass the params and here we will pass the course content id okay is equal to param dot course content id for the course content dot id okay and one more important parameter you have to write merge and you have to provide the value as a true okay this is very important once you uh, navigate to the course detail page right go to the course detail page and over here right in this course detail page here you have to define uh one value in use effect so here you have to call the use effect maker because this use effect method help us to fetch the value from the user course uh, user uh, progress right particular course progress so in order to uh execute this line of command right it means this particular use effect you have to pass the parameter that is parameters dot the one which we define here right the course content id okay so what we'll do when you navigate it it will check okay this value is changed and once the value is changed right then it will call this use effect okay remember when you uh, use the navigate dot go back it will not um call this use effect because you just go back to the previous page without doing anything right because that's the reason content will be same you are not calling any new api but when you uh implement this kind of navigation right and passing the parameter and merge you mention the true that that time it will execute this uh, use effect and it will execute our uh, two methods which we need right and now if i save everything now try to okay let's go back here okay let's try to complete this python comments right if i here next and finish it now you see python comment is completed now without doing anything right we don't go back and don't need to do anything if i go back still it's there right now let's try on different course so i will select this uh Py advanced python and i only two containers there right so try to complete the first one select next and finish and if you see it's completed perfect so i hope you understand this uh, particular section i i know this uh, video is going getting longer so in the next part we'll see uh, another uh, part of this particular course and see you in the next video if you did not subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and watch all the previous video if you have any doubt any uh, any error in the uh, doing any uh, anything you can uh, uh, dm me on my instagram channel or you can put in the comment in the comment box and if you really like this video please press like button thank you